Okay, all is going to be a weasel for the muzzle. We start with a white, nice wide brush, about halfway up the nostril flare. Just go straight out. Bring it back into the lips. Okay. Same thing on the outside. Go out about as far, or just beyond the outside of the eye. Make sure you do it the same on both sides, and then fill it in. With the weasels, you got to be a little more careful of the lips than you do the ferrets, and you're good to go. Have a medium wide brush and the brown, tag brown. Load your brush up real nice. Okay, come down the bridge of the nose. Okay, so your brush splits like that, it means it's not really wet enough. Come down the bridge of the nose. Okay, take the flat. Go out sideways and you're kind of making a mustache. Let it fill in close to the nose. Let it be brushy out away from the nose. Okay, and then bring it up the side of the nose. Just like with the ferrets, then fill in that sharp corner so that you get a more natural shape. Okay, catch the bottom of the nose. Since they also have the pointy noses, the outside of the nose needs to be the brown. <coughs> All right. So now that you've got that done, you're going to go eyebrows. Again, take the brush flat and brush up. Kind of press down, pull up, press down, pull up. It should look fierce and shaggy because they are fierce and shaggy critters. Make sure you get a little across the top. I'm going to keep that same flat brush. We're going to load it up with black. We're going to do the nose, which is triangular. Again, just like the ferrets, kind of make a rectangle on the top of the nose. And bring the corners down to the point, just like that. And fill it in. so that it makes a more natural triangle with the kid's nose. Carefully take the flat of your brush, push it down to the middle, fill that out. All right, then a little bit of black in there. Same thing on the other side. Okay. All right. Oh, see, this one goes real, real quick. I need a little, little bit of flowers there. Okay. After you paint the nose and the line underneath it, get yourself a little brush, load it up nice and full, and get some spots to, for the whiskers. Make sure their size better. Make sure that your spots are nice and big so that they show oh so from the back of the theater. Now, we need to dirty it up a little. Take the dark brown again. You want it mostly dry. Spritz your sponge. Tap, 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 tap on the brown paint. Check it on your hand. Going for just a little dirt. Okay, because they're rough characters. Every time you reload, check that sponge. You don't want, absolutely do not want, a big glob on anybody's face. Grab the kind of medium brown. Just enough. Make sure you don't end up with square corners. Want them to look dirty. You can grab the star blend. 